Welcome back guys to the Spurgeon Piper. This is Wilson with you. And it is that time of year that many of us anticipate. It is the fall season. And that comes with the crisp weather, the uh, fall colors, the uh, football season that comes about this time of year for us in the United States, and uh, pumpkin pie, even things we cringe about, pumpkin spice latte, all those things I really love. And I really enjoy this time of year. And that includes pipe tobacco and I even actually have to add in pipe because I now start pulling out my 2022 Peterson Christmas pipe that I designate just for the fall and the winter season because it just has this autumn aesthetic. So uh, I don't want to talk about that though or those other things. I want to talk about the pipe tobacco that I pull out at this time of year and what I smoke pretty much through the rest of the winter season as well because for Texas it's it's kind of the same. It's cold and it's wet and you might have some foliage and all that stuff. So it, they just meld in together. So I'm going to be covering my five blends that I pull out this time of year and then I will be enjoying. Now, just to let you know, I do smoke other blends. I'll have my regular rotation, but these I'm really, hev you know, heavily uh, focusing on um, in, in the meantime. So um, I have some other things I smoke, but these predominantly are in my list. So let's get into them and uh, give you an idea of what I am going to be pulling out of my cellar. Number one is kind of a cheat. It's two blends uh, that I'll be pulling out because either or I'm happy with them. And that is either Solani Age Burley Flake or Wessex Burley Slice. Now, if I had to pick between these two, it's going to be Solana's Age Burley Flake. I it's, it's the cream of the crop for me for Burley blends, Burley Flake blends. Uh, it has a note to it, a distinguishment that sets it apart from everything else, but Wessex Burley Slice comes alongside of it quite well. I actually kind of smoke these throughout the year, but they're so hard to get a hold of and they're on the pricier side that I, I'm really now just pulling them out to enjoy more. And, and not to mention, um, they, uh, I, I don't have many in stock. so. That is, that is my main one that I'll be enjoying this year. The burly flavors, nuttiness, molasses, even some chocolate notes in there, uh, they go well with the fall season. So uh, those are my top burly choices, the ones I'll be going with forward in this autumn season. Uh, but number two, and I'm glad to mention a couple of these because some of you ask, well, what aromatics do you smoke? It doesn't seem like you like them at all. And you're kind of right, I don't really enjoy most aromatics. I just, I haven't found one that I would stick with year round pretty much. But with the fall season, things change. Uh, the first one I want to talk about that I'm, I'm really excited to get into is Warped Scarecrow by it's Cornell and Deal. Uh, Cornell and Deal and Warped Cigars. It's a conglomeration bin. I think it's their only aromatic blend that they come out with during the fall season. I think they're gonna come out this year with it. I'm hoping that's the case, but if you're not familiar with it, this is a this is last year's blend. Uh, but Scarecrow is a mixture of uh, Red Virginia's, Bright Virginia's, Earthly Burley, and then it has this caramel ap apple, uh, candy corn uh, flavoring to it that I really enjoy. It is a heavy blend. This is not your typical aromatic, it's gonna be on the heavy side, so be warned for that. If, if you're gonna be keeping your eye out on this blend, and if you're sensitive to nicotine, it may not be for you. So I just wanna give you that, uh, that warning, but man, I love this blend. It, it, it's just the, the weather, the heaviness, the burly with this flavoring on top of it, it, it coincides with the weather very well uh, with the fall season, and, and of course all those flavors we think of around Halloween and November, or. or uh, Thanksgiving. So uh, I'm hoping there's more coming out this year because I will add some to my cellar. I have enough going forward for a few years, but this is one I'll probably empty out by the end of December at least, if not sooner than that. Uh, moving on to a different type of blend. This is one I was a fan of at one point, uh, or I mentioned I was a fan of at one point, but it's been a while and I don't smoke it much at all until this time of year. And that is McBaron Stockton. Now this is an old one that may be hard to get a hold of. I think they're coming out with it every year for a bit of time, and then they put it back, you know, into uh, the cellar, if you will, and they'll they'll pull out a new batch. I guess every year, every other year. Anyhow, uh, McBaron Stockton is one that I came around to a couple of years ago that I really uh, fell in love with. Uh, the flavors remind me, and I think you can find my 
review on this, but the flavors remind me of a campfire with s'mores. Uh, so, or marshmallows, I would say. So it has that sweet marshmallow sugary taste, but then you add in campfire from the dark fired Kentucky. So I love this blend. If I had to give this blend a knock, it's that like most coin cut McBaron blends, it messes with my tongue. And I think I've heard John David Cole from the Country Squire make the same comment, but McBaron coin cuts especially, they, they just give me a tongue bite that no other blends really do. So that is one thing I, I, I'll knock off some points on, but I still can't help the flavor. So I will pull this out. I still will enjoy it. Uh, it's, it's the perfect time of year for the campfire marshmallowy uh, flavor that it does bring to the table. So there's three for us right now. Moving on, there's another one that's kind of, it's kind of a cheat or it's unfortunate for you, I guess, because um, it's, it's not readily available, but I think we can find replacements. And that's the Cornell Dill Small Batch Carolina Red Flight. Now this is last year's. And so again, this, this is 2023. Uh, I'm not saying next year I'm gonna pull this out, but this is for 2023. And I did pull out Carolina Red Flake specifically because of the type of flavor, character, notes that it does bring to the table. Uh, this is not like most Red Virginia Flakes or Red Virginia blends that are more sweeter and deep fruity. There's a bit of that. It's more spicy. Uh, it has this uh, uh, cooking, these cooking spice notes to it, along with some earthiness, um, just a hint of sweetness. And, and it goes well with this time of year where it just seems like more we're more attached to uh, the, the smells and, and, and the fragrances of fall, um, especially for me and my farming background. Um, that's what really comes to mind. And I, I, was, I was on a peanut farm um, and well, one of the main crops we grew and harvested was peanuts. And it was around this time of year that we harvest them. And the smell in the air that just got into your mouth was of peanut hay, just the peanut vines that have grown dry. And then we would harvest them out. And that's what this reminds me of. So it's probably my, it's, it's a bit of nostalgia, I suppose, that's going on here. But I really like this, this time of year. I think it, the flavors go well with the season. Then finally, uh, number five is another aromatic blend, and this is, if, if you had asked me, what is my favorite aromatic? This is my favorite aromatic. And even with that said, I still want to pull it out this time of year. And there's, a, of course, a good reason for that, because it's only really available this time of year unless you have it in your cellar, which I do. But that is Strauss Tobacco's Sleepy Hollow. Now, many of you know this already. Those of you who've been smoking pipe tobacco for some time probably have come across this one. I have tried other autumn aromatic blends. Um, I've tried Sutliff's, I think it's Sutliff's Public Pumpkin Spice, left me wanting. Um, I enjoy OK, Cornell and Dill's Autumn Evening. That's a very popular one. Uh, it's a bit too syrupy, maple syrupy for me. And, and so it's, it's fine, but it's not something I want to go to. Strauss Tobacco Sleep at Hollow really tastes like earthy pumpkins out of the ground with spice added. I, I don't know how they do it. I don't know exactly what the recipe is. I'm sure no one does other than them, but uh, this, this nails it when it comes to a autumn, fall tobacco. I, they, they just nail it for, for me. And so I really enjoy this blend. Um, it, it, uh, it comes through in the taste, not only the, the aroma, and it satisfies everyone, whether you're smoking it or you're just in the room. But I want to kind of give a number six to this that's connected to this because though I love aromatics, I still love my flavors of natural tobacco, especially Perique. So I, I do make my own blend of this. And I think last year I mentioned that I make this mixture and someone gave me a name for it. And I wish I knew who it was. And if you remember, you can leave a comment below. But I mix a little bit of Sleepy Hollow with a little bit of Old Dominion by Watch City Cigars. Old Dominion by Watch City Cigars is a wonderful Perique. I enjoy, greatly enjoy it. And it has its own like musty leaves, uh, sweet taste to it, which doesn't maybe sound appealing, but I really enjoy it. So I'll mix a little bit of this with the Sleepy Hollow and uh, I call it the Headless Horseman. And again, I wanna give full credit to someone in the YTPC, the YouTube Pipe Tobacco community because they, they gave me the recommendation for that name and I thought it fit well. So I call it Sleep uh, Headless Horseman. Um, it's just maybe half and half uh, of, of both, of the Sleepy Hollow and Old Dominion. 
and it just adds another dimension to the blend and it's it's my favorite smoke right now i i really enjoy it so guys there you are those are my tight fault top five blends and be sure to add, tell me what you're smoking right now during this time of year. I know we pull out certain blends. I'm sure some of you are pulling out English blends. I didn't mention one, but I'm sure some of you are, uh, but whatever it may be, be sure to leave them below. Let others know because it's nice to know what other autumn oriented, fall oriented blends there are out there that we enjoy. Well, that's all I have this week, guys. I hope you're doing well and I hope you're blessed and we will talk to you soon.